I was driving right down the street from where I am to my headquarters at One Hope one day. And as I was driving there, um, I always like to take that time to spend in prayer and, and, and sort of calm myself down before hitting into the rush of the day. And it's my time to listen to a little worship m music. And that's my routine. And I, I drive the same way to work every day. And on this one particular day I was driving, I was praying, and I was stopped at a red light. And, and oftentimes when I'm when in, the, in that time of prayer, I want to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit and hear if he has anything for me that day. And he did that that morning. As I was sitting there at the red light, I heard him say, Rob, take a right turn. And so I thought, okay, Lord, take a right turn. Take a right turn in my marriage, take a right turn with my kids, take a right turn at One Hope. And I really felt the Lord say, no, dummy, take a right turn at this red light you're sitting at right now. <laughs> I took a right turn, and I found myself driving through a neighborhood that I'd never been through before. It actually was right across the street from our global headquarters at One Hope, the one that, as you've just heard, has reached 1.7 billion children around the world. I was driving through that neighborhood, and it was one of those moments where the Lord just sets you up. Have you ever been in a moment like that? And that day, in this short few blocks that I drove through this neighborhood where I've ever been, I, 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 saw, I saw a drug deal go down on the side of the road. I saw a transvestite prostitute walk out in front of my car. I looked over, and I saw moms whose children should have been in school that weren't in school. And I pulled the car over to the side of the road as I experienced this. This was not a barrio in Nicaragua. This was not a slum in India. This was literally right across the street from my own house, from my office. I pulled the car over to the side of the road, and I was literally broken for those children that I had never seen before. As I was there in intercession, I said, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me for seeing children around the world, but not seeing the children that are right here in front of me. That neighborhood was called Avondale. I made my way into the office that day, and I, I actually told my team, I said, guys, I need you to stop what you're doing. I know you're busy. We've got a lot to do. And I told them the story of what I just experienced in that neighborhood. And we made a commitment that day as God's people to God's children. That was 12 years ago. One Hope has a lot of responsibilities around the world, but through our partnership with Coral Ridge, for 12 years, we have been investing in the children of Avondale. 600 of them now go to school in our building, in our charter school. It's a public school. There are certain things that we cannot do in that school, and we don't. You know what we do? We show them the love of Jesus every day, and we make ourselves available to them, and we meet the needs of their family and their parents, and we serve them in the way Jesus Christ has asked us to.